Do you feel lightheaded or nauseous with really hard workouts? Want to figure out what's going on? Watch this. Our next caller is Xavier from Massachusetts. Xavier, what's happening? How can we help you? Yeah. Uh, well, first off, I just want to say hi, guys. Uh, you know, I've been listening to you guys for a few years now, and you've definitely uh, helped me do my own coaching thing and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll get right into it. So I... So I've been feeling uh, I, I would get extremely nauseous in the middle of some of my workouts. And I've been feeling that way since I've been running track and, uh, since high school. And it would only be during my extremely hard workouts. Now, recently, um, I first noticed it during a really hard leg day. I got extremely like sweaty, uh, passed down on the floor. Well, I didn't like lose consciousness or anything. Um, and then right after that, I had to go straight to the bathroom and <laughs> uh, take a number two, I guess you would say. Mm. Uh, so I thought it was food related. So I stopped eating before my workouts. That didn't help. I thought it was pre-workout related. Uh, what else? Uh, and... I looked towards water and salt, and none of those things worked out for me. So I was hoping you guys would have some sort of answer. Yeah. Yeah, I got mm. an answer for you. Just work got through you. it. Push yourself. <laughs> yeah, to throw up. And yeah, pain right. is weakness. You would yeah. never hear that from nah, us. You, you, know what, you know what you're doing? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna tell you a little story. So it's just this used to happen. I'm gonna to me. make something up here. So just imagine your friend is literally standing against the wall and just banging it against the wall. And they're like, yeah. yeah, my head hurts, and you know, I, I thought I was dehydrated. I'm drinking more water; it didn't seem to help. And took Advil. I thought, you know, I took some Advil, but it didn't really help that much. And yeah. I thought maybe I needed more sleep, and I've been sleeping more. And you're looking at them, and you're like, you're banging so your head. Helmet on. You're, you're banging your head against the wall. Work. That's probably why. The obvious answer is you're working out too hard. I think the reason why that's not obvious to you is because you okay. think to yourself, "This isn't that hard. Why am I feeling this way?" Right, mm -hmm. right, and it doesn't always happen, right? You're okay with upper body workouts, and if you go easier, well, no. So uh, I'd be lying to you if I say I haven't felt it during an upper body day. Um, <sighs> I will say this though: I did feel it. Uh, I've been running Maps Anabolic uh, recently, and I felt it during the first set of squats. Yeah, and it was the. I don't know if I can talk about this. Is that okay? Yeah, I don't yeah. care. Okay. Yeah, it's the the two by twelve, and I felt it during my first set. Um, I was able to push through it. Didn't have to run to the bathroom that time, but I did get extremely exhausted. Um, and I, I, it, yeah, I guess I don't want to accept that maybe I'm working too hard because it just it doesn't feel it doesn't seem like it, I am. There's okay. Let me ask some more questions here. I, yeah. I actually used to experience this, so and I'd consider okay. myself a hard gainer. Uh, so I, mine was actually food related, uh, not getting enough food. Um, I wasn't okay. I wasn't fueling my body with enough calories to support the intense workouts I was doing. Also. Something that I heard you say was, so you stopped eating food before your workout, so that would only make that situation worse because you're even lower yeah. calorie now. And then in addition to that, if you take a pre-workout on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. caffeine will give that feeling on an empty stomach a lot of times too. So I yeah. don't know if you've ever experienced having like a cup of coffee first thing in the morning and sometimes you feel nauseous if it's like a really strong cup of coffee. Caffeine will do this sometimes. And have you messed with your carbohydrate intake, like, you know, at, like fruits or like oatmeal or like what kind of breakfast did that consist of? So uh, when this first started, um, again, you know, I stopped eating and then I started doing it again. Uh, I would have uh, maybe like oatmeal and a banana at first. Um, but now I've been doing the bagel, cream cheese, banana um, LMNT <laughs> and that's kind of been getting me through it a little bit longer. Okay. Um, what about the pre, are you taking a pre-workout? Yes, yes, yes. How many milligrams of caffeine is in your pre-workout? What are you taking? I think it's one fifth. Oh, 200 actually. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's uh, 200 milligrams. Okay. So a few things here. One, um, when you, I would schedule a physical, get a routine blood test. Just mm -hmm. make sure that mm -hmm. there's no, no lacking nutrients. Make sure your iron nice. is okay. 
Your, okay. Your B your B vitamins are okay because sometimes that can cause that. Yeah, number two, so okay. there might be a deficiency somewhere. Number two, um, this doesn't happen during normal workouts. This typically happens with hard, strenuous ones. I so, want to say yes, yeah. Okay, so I would I would just not go super hard for a while. I would treat exercise or workouts like practice. I would practice the movements, train within your limits because going past your okay. limit, whether you think so or not, is not is not helpful, right? Getting to the point where you feel like you're sick. Yeah, it's setting you back. Yeah, regardless of the reason, it's just not It's not going to benefit you, even if it's a nutrient deficiency. Going past that point is gotcha. not going to help you. So I would go easy. I would either go lighter or less reps or rest longer or less volume or all of the above, and then slowly work your capacity up. Very little by little, work your capacity up. So gotcha. Those are the things I would do uh, right out the gates. So have I, you checked your blood pressure in a while too? Yes, I actually did. It was a perfect. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So I know I had one ten. It was a it. it was a one ten over seventy, I believe. I, I would um I would tease out uh, d the advice that Sal said. I think we all agree. Go get checked to be safe. None yeah. of us are doctors here. There could be something. Yeah. Under, there could be an underlining issue that you're uh, something you're not getting or something going on that we, we should check just to be safe. So I uh, that's we're gonna start with that advice from all of us. But then I would also yeah. I would tease out the pre workout. Um, you yeah, know, I've, I've, I, take, I've taken pre-workouts before and, and, and it definitely when I'm on an empty stomach and I go to train and, and, that, the poops. and that makes, it makes me nauseous, <laughs> makes me, it makes me have to go take a shit like all the above. So, yeah. um, if you haven't teased it out, I would tease that out and see if that makes a difference too. Yeah. I, uh, I used to take a few different pre-workouts. I've, I've been like experimenting with myself and whatnot and, um, definitely had to rule out, uh, one. But even though it was like my favorite brand, I had to rule them out uh, just because like I just wasn't agreeing with my stomach. Um, yeah, I don't know if this correlates at all, but also when I eat a ton of carbs, I tend to feel the same feeling. Okay. Well, it's yeah. I, okay. Go get a physical. Make sure that your blood sugar and your insulin sensitivity is okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever feel like an unquenchable thirst? Hmm can't say that I have okay. felt it before. Okay. I would still go get, go, go get, go get a physical, let your doctor know, have them t do gotcha. routine blood tests just to rule anything out. In the meantime, train well within your limits because you're not doing yourself yeah. any favors by getting to the point where you feel like, you know, you need to throw up. Um, <laughs> and then as far as eating too many carbohydrates in one sitting and making you feel crappy, well, uh, you know, until you figure out what the deal is, I would eat less mm -hmm. at a sitting. And again, just stay within your limits until you figure out or rule out that there's any major medical issue like your, like again, your insulin sensitivity is off because blood sugar issues can cause that and cause nausea. It can cause you to make you feel like passing out. It can, yeah. you know, so, so you can, it can cause a lot of things. So check that out. Make sure there's no nutrient deficiencies and train within your limits. If your tests come back, doctors like everything looks fine. We don't think we need to do any further testing then yeah. just stay within your limits and gradually move yourself up. And you can do it. So long, again, as there's no major deficiency or medical issue, you can slowly move your tolerance up and up until you know, you're able to train at a high intensity and not feel like you're going to die. As a hard gainer, yeah. I, I, would attempt, I would attempt to, uh, to eat a, a good, good high-calorie meal about two hours before workout. I don't know if you're, if you're timing it right now or paying attention to that. Um, yeah, I uh I wake up first thing in the morning and usually go just because that's how my schedule works. Um so it's kinda it's kinda hard to wake up that early. <laughs> wake up oh, around, See, this uh, is why I think it's five. low cal this is why I think it's low calorie. You're a hard gainer. So I'm assuming yeah. we have kind of a fast metabolism, you're on the leaner side, you're fasted all night where you don't eat. It sounds like mm -hmm. you're eating oatmeal and a, you're talking about four or 500 calories tops. Yeah. Um, and then you're also taking this super caffeinated drink. I, to me, I think you, getting yourself better fed, uh, maybe try doing your workout uh, at a later time just to test this and see if it's not that. Again, back to the first advice, go get tested. That's first and foremost. But yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. other things that I would also play with. Like I would try, like I, I, I don't ever feel great working on the morning. Just never have. It's, mm -hmm. And I get some feelings gotcha. like this. I normally have to have two good meals in my system before I get a lift. And that's a real easy way to to figure out if that's an issue. Because if you find that, man, anytime I work out at 
two in the afternoon or later, I never have these problems, but I only have these problems okay. in the morning when I train. Well, maybe it's just that your body needs more calories. You're not feeding it enough for the workout that you're doing. And then you're feeling the, the blood pressure, blood sugar thing going on that could cause the nausea. So I, wow. I, I would look into that. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess I should also add that I have been doing more of like a power building uh, style of uh, exercising. And it's not super high rep with the uh, heavier exercises. So, you know, maybe that's definitely playing a part. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, honestly, you just do it's too much for whatever's happening. Yeah. It's too much. Train with your within your limits and go make sure that there's no major medical issues underlining kind of, you know, what's going on. And circle back with this, Xavier. I'd love to hear uh, what happens. So I want to I want to know what uh, what's going on with you so we can get to the bottom of it. OK. OK. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. All right, man. Thank All right, you. Dude. Yeah, thank you. This is uh, why I, one example, why I recommend good trainers and coaches have a network of people they can work with. Because I would love- like, I experienced this a lot. I, this was like, a, yeah. a, I actually experienced this quite a bit. Now, obviously, it's my situation. Maybe his is completely different. Um, but there was two main things that really made a big difference for me. Actually, one of them was- getting out of the, the body part split because what the, this was leg day for me. Oh yeah. Uh, every 20 sets for legs. Yeah. Cool. Every, you get anxiety about it because yeah, of the every aftermath, leg everything. day. Yeah. I was, I was on the edge of throwing up every workout. And even when I thought I was backing off the intensity, I'm, I would look at how way everybody else is training and I see what I'm doing. I'm like, God, I'm such a wuss. Like mm -hmm. I want to throw up and this is all I've done. Like, yeah. and you are a wuss, so, <laughs> but it doesn't matter, right? It was just too much. But I also, I also <laughs> noticed that hard. if I, if I was, very well fed, you know, two meals or so before my workouts that I didn't experience this feeling. And he already he commented about him being a hard gainer. He might be just lo a lot lower calorie. I mean, hard gainers normally are not eating enough calories. That's what yeah. that's already a, a, an obvious thing with hard gainers. So he's probably low calorie. He's in the morning time, uh -huh. okay, when he's been basically fasted all night. Throw some caffeine well, on that. Yeah. yeah, then throw some caffeine like on you that. Said four or five hundred calories, then he's going right into his workout. Yeah, not even like fully digested. Yeah, yeah. I mean it, it's probably what it is, but I I definitely think if you're feeling like this, uh, you know, you want to rule things out. Right? No, you're you want to make right. sure. I mean. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, that could be something that's just kind of hidden. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, nonetheless, I mean, it, it is crazy because the last thing a person wants to say is, well, I'm, I'm working out too hard. Yeah. Because what we do is we look at our workouts and we say, well, this is not too yeah. hard. Well, I obviously can, I can handle this, though. Well, yeah, yeah, or you compare to others like I did. Mm -hmm. I was looking at what my friends and everybody else was, and they were doing twice, as, twice the intensity as I was, but I was struggling with that. Totally. So. Totally. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.